demon off roading, dinosaur, violin, seven eight seven, RB star, slams, fascinating, 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 wow, on air, gigantic. Oh. Um. MC and welcome to Japfest, the largest Japanese car show in the whole country. And this is the public car park, which is where I am parked because I didn't bother putting my car on show. I caught the arrivals, there's links for that somewhere, and my car is absolutely filthy, so I'm just kind of here. And what's also in the public car park is this cheeky MX5 with some crayons. So if I do Adam C was apostrophe ear. Great success. And there's also these exhausts. Ah, so we've got some cans of energy drink bolted or riveted. They're riveted to the rear bumper. And then the exhausts are facing upwards and kind of heat shield proofed to the bumper. I don't, I, th there was no way to explain this other than it, it's just a mess. We've also got pink penis dust caps and various funny stickers. It's a bit of a harlequin car as well. We've got blue, red, orange, green, pink, blue and black. But let's leave that behind because I said this is the public car park. Let's go in, queue up and see the Japanese cars in the show. There are thousands. It's long. So we are in and straight away you can see the extent of the show. And from the Netherlands we've got this Honda Accord Coupe. This particular car confused us as it came in because we thought it was a Vauxhall Vectra from the rear with the Lexus style clear rears but this is actually remarkable pristine condition so we've got Hondas and we've got Supras and a Sora and a Mark III Supra with its bonnet up so this is a twin charged 2JZ in the Mark III Toyota Supra but further around not getting quite as much attention but very deserving of it is this who he appears to have padlocked his bonnet shot after a minor inconvenience. And we have counted so far 21 JZX100 Toyota Chasers, most of which were white in colour. So to draw a crowd, not only do you need a Supra, but pop the bonnet up so you can see the 2J and everyone gathers around and then ignores the other ones, you see? That's what happened. It does help that it's also bright green with a massive spoiler on the back. <laughs> Whereas to be fair, we've got the very vibrant Smurf Blue Supra over here and another sizable crowd and I can't actually work out what they're looking at. Ah, it's another Supra with the bonnet open but this one has a diesel engine from a tank did you in this current frame there are four white toyota chasers because yes. everyone loves the white chaser one two three four and this one has green wheels from a 370z we're also starting to see a lot more modified gr yaris's we've also got this jzx 100 mark ii and another gr yaris this one in a bit of a livery i'm intrigued by this crv it's in a bit of a honda section i say a bit it is in a massive honda section with the bonnet up that's why is that a k20 Yes. Well, there it is. I've just realised someone's nan's passed away in the back of the CRV as well. It was quite a long queue, but commiserations. I believe we've ended up at a Mazda section with a lot of the MX-5s that are here, but probably only about 30% of them. This one's got roof bars rather closely placed together due to the small roof. And we've got spoiler, we've got no spoiler, we've got a boot rack and we've got a ducktail spoiler. Quite a lot of variety in the MX-5 clan. We have found the RX-7 section. Seven of them arrive together rather conveniently and here are a few more but there's gonna be there's gonna be thousands of cars here we're not gonna be able to see all of them I'm gonna miss a few out he's got Doritos on his dash because triangle and whereas this isn't Japanese this is the Essex Scooby crew so you've got Scooby-Doo with the Scooby crew uh, and, and that's that's how it's got in it's also got a trailer on the back and some of the most enjoyable modified cars to look out are the cheap micros including the rainbow micro over here we've got all of the colors it stands out and he loves it we have this purple 350z with rocket bunny arches and the largest canards I've seen on one of these. The story is the same on the rear. I reckon he's going out on track. You don't need no bumper for that or plates. Keep hydrated. We next approach the S15 Owners Club, one of which is a very S and has got the roof down on this glorious kind of not blue sky. Quick everyone, someone's revving. I think it's the Lancer. We've got a pink Mark 1 MX-5 and a pink Rocket Bunny 350Z as an RB revs in the background. It was a R33. So here we have Linda showing her face on this pearlescent pink 350 50Z. And is that an exhaust coming out the rear, or are you just pleased to see me? Now, there is a proper rev battle going on, and crowds are being drawn for the R33. I can only predict it has flames. In the meantime, the Mr. has a custom rear patch. 
Look as though everyone crowns and gathers and flocks to the revolutions, because that's what we love. It's very Irish, tic tacs. So now that the crowds are drawings are over there, we can check out some of the alcoholics on display in the K10 Micro with a fancy roof. So we reach another section and more people are revving. They are definitely flames. Now, excuse my voice, it is currently disappearing from me. This guy loves 90s junk. Oh, that was a big one. What is it? It sounds it's like a 350. I was going to say it sounds familiar. So beyond the noisy 350Z, we've got this trio of Honda S660s. I was going to say this chap has won a trophy, but no, it's a glass of Stella. We've got more alcoholics at Jamfest. There are always a lot of Skylines here, but I think this year has really excelled in the turnouts. I mean, this section is the Mefiveners, and they've got a 32, 34, four-door, and a couple more, well, no, there's a 33 on the end. And a mighty Accord. So we are now walking to the other side of the track, which is actually where the majority of the cars are. We've barely touched the surface of the turnouts of this show. I'm going to head down to this MX5 section because I've spotted a Lamborghini. This is the new Aventador, you can tell by the doors. This one has an aquatic theme because it says C, MX5 C, and there's Captain Jack Sparrow, there's some barrels, and an octopus right in the middle. There's actually quite a bit of work that has gone on for both of these cars because we have another Lamborghini MX5 next to it. This one we have seen a few times and it's got more of a demon theme to it with the devil and some red everywhere, but it's a fascinating pair, these two. And there's a wide range of spoilers in this MX-5 section. This has got quite a bit of a long tail on the back of the Mark II. Got a smaller one on the beige Mark I. We have another JDM livery on another 350Z and another friend of mine. This is Wendy Lou and don't let her appearance fool you. She is really into her rock climbing and here she is on the side of the 350Z and Pikachu in the middle. And behind Wendy Lou we've got these twins who have subtle differences. They're not completely identical. One of them is better endowed than the other. It's a pretty decent scene here. The amount of cars that have turned up and just parked. Not a lot of people are around because I think there's a drift demo that's about to take place so a lot of people have rushed over there so we've actually got a bit of space to look at the cars that have turned up including another four-door R34. There are so many of those here today and a lot of MX-5s as you can tell. And this lineup of MX-5s ends with a slightly lifted Mark 1. Someone's revving their MX-5 over there and over here we have a Rocket Bunny S14. And from MX-5s and an intruding Supra we go to a Mazda the MX-3. Despite its size, you've got a V6 in here. The MX-5 is still providing the revolutions. The Civic's also intruding. That's a funny looking R33. So we join the hard standing section, obviously magnetised towards the 350Z Roadster. You've got the likes of another 350Z, an S2000 with the roof down, an S15, a Lexus IS, an R33 in white, and another RX-7 with the bonnet up over there. Someone's taking a peek. I believe the Spoolie Boy to be the main viewpoint of his engine bay. Take a look at that chrome detailed Civic over there. Let's have a look. This must be a track car, and he sure has let us know with the colourful livery, bit of chrome, bit of high vis too. And I am darting all over the place at the moment. I'm back on the lawn. We've spotted a nice white on white S14 over there. A little bit of a section up here. And Whilst earlier we had an off-roading Supra, we now have an off-roading Nissan 350Z getting a lot of attention. It's got the proper chunky tyres on it and a bit of evidence that it has been off-roading and the light bar on top. Conveniently it's on grass as well, that helps. There's a small Subaru section, we've got this example which initially looks to be quite a unique blue wrap until you go around to the other side and notice it's subtle matte greyness. I actually quite like this, it's got a nice front lip on it, Hawkeye Generation is probably my favourite personally. And at the top of the Subaru section we have this brat. Who's he got in the back? A couple of dinosaurs. Boy, that is a jazzy jazz. This MX-5 with its chrome wheels has almost an Iron Man livery to it and talking of Iron Man, there he is, just over there. I didn't know Seats were Japanese. And here is quite an interesting section. You may think this is a British Lotus Elise, and well, it is. It's a Series 2 Elise, but it's got a K20. Then we have a colour flip Toyota Chaser. We've got a Nissan GTR, and then an MK kit car, but with S13 running gear and the S13 CA18 engine. That awkward moment when you turn up in your red FN2 and your friend parks next to you in his red FN2 and his friend parks next to him in his red FN2 and his... Yeah, you get the idea. Now this MX-5 
is very close to the ground, but would a garden centre loyalty card fit underneath it? Yes. I was trying to work out what's going on with this FTO, and all I've discovered is a skeleton playing the violin. And I joke about cars with no front bumpers or no rear bumpers, but this GTA 6 just doesn't. It, it just doesn't. There's nothing there. That's the bumper. White Chaser, yes. I have no idea who this chap is. He looks like a Nigel. There's a yellow S15, and in front, a Mazda MX-5 in a 787B livery. It just makes sense. Now, I, they did bring out a special version of the Mark 1 MX-5 in a similar livery, but this has been done kind of afterwards. It's, it's a Mark II, that's the biggest clue. Also, another Lamborghini, this one from a Mark 2.5 MX-5. The most disappointing thing about this particular section is that my hair wasn't cut that long ago. But what we do have is another heavily modified wide arch Mark III MX-5 with a spoiler on the back, although this one isn't a Lamborghini. We have another two-tone car, lime green versus a satin black. And somewhere amongst these cars, Someone's creating music with their horn. They played Baby Shark earlier. And I've just spotted a crowd over here looking at something with a BMW kidney grill. So I can presume it must be an E46, probably with a 1J or something similar. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, so these are all engine swapped cars. It does have a JZ and an E46. You've got Mini, Sierra, the E46, another Mini, a 2002. So you've got Honda Power in the BMW. I think that's a Lexus V8 in the Sierra. And an RB25 in the front of the Volkswagen Beetle. Not in the rear, that's just got some radiators and stuff. So we are now heading towards a show and shine section. Will my voice last until that section? I don't think so, but we shall see. So there's kind of sporadically placed cars everywhere. There's a Learner Driver MX-5 with some kind of turtle sunbathing on the dashboard and a bear in between the seats and Molly giving the finger. But I've just spotted my section, well, my favourite section, which is the Boosted Barge section. I think it's got a different name. Ah yes, JZ owners UK. So this is where most of the chasers are today. So chaser, 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 not a chaser, not a chaser, chaser, not a chaser. This JZX100 Mark II was on track earlier and looks phenomenal. But how about that for a lineup of JZX boosted barges? Not forgetting these two white chasers, you can notice there are two different shades of white. There are actually more than three different shades of white. We love all white chasers. Everyone loves a white chaser. Further on, we've got three different shades of green on 350Z. So we've got a bit of orange on display on this example. Further around, we've got like a dark green on this example. And then this 350Z has a pearlescent green with a little bit of purple with a cambered or stanced S14 up front and a slammed Master 6. So I believe we have tiptoed into the Skyline and GTR section. We've got a chrome advanced star delivery on the GTR over there. There's 32s, 3s, 4s and 5s. There's hundreds of them. Honestly, hundreds. I can't pay attention to every one. We've got GTTs, GTSTs, GTRs. There's a GTR popping flames over there. Everyone's covering their ears. There are a few R34 GTRs as well. Let's go to the flames. Oh, the is joining in. Oh, yes. It's the ref battle now. 33 versus 35. He wants more. By the way, just beyond the skylines, including this nice R32 GTR, we have another JZX100 Toyota Chaser, one of 21 here today. And people seem to be drawing all over this S14's white wings. Let's have a go. I'll tell you what, that's a fascinating self-portrait there. That's a fascinating Civic. We've got a fascinating JZX100 Mark II and an even more fascinating Cherry Red Mark I MX-5. I do specifically love how they're called Strictly Skyline. Strictly Skyline. So, we start with the Mr. Two. I mentioned at the start of the day how many GR Yaris's we were having. Here's the GR Yaris section. Well, it's kind of a GR section. We've got GR Supras as well. So here they all are. They must be about 20 of them. I think the modified ones might be in the aforementioned show and shine section, which we are heading to. And my voice is still coping. Oh, wow. One thing I did see on the way in, though, is this dark green Mark V Supra. It's a colour I haven't seen before on one of those. But here we are approaching the trade section. There's Phil getting crowded over. Oh, my God, it's Phil. So a lot of the trade guys pick some of the better cars to park outside their stands to draw a crowd 
crowd in. There's a lot of the regulars that we've seen at a lot of these shows, like the RX-7 and the 350Z. The green light insurance stand has picked this S15 to go right to the front to really lure a crowd with its livery. You're probably going to have to watch the cars leaving video to get a good enough glimpse of these cars. Because there are so many people. But one of the cars that we can have a little walk around on is this cherry red R34. Looks fantastic with its new livery. And here is a car that I've been wanting to see for quite a while. A Toyota Prius on air in purple. And we have finally reached an opening and the show and shine section. Very sparkly Mazda 3. It's got a Rocket Bunny 350Z. A lot of air ride and a lot of static cars as well. And many details like the heart indicators on the Daihatsu Copen. And yes, another wide body Nissan 350Z with the deep dish wheels and tyre writing. Midnight Purple Wide Arch R32 GTR as well. And a red Supra next to another one of the chasers. This one's got a little spoiler on the back. And around here is a car that I saw coming in and I could not get a good enough look at. A very wide 300ZX. It's not often these days that you get to see 300ZXs anymore. There's actually quite a few here today, but this one is unlike any other one that I've seen before with these gigantic vents on the arches and some proper camber. I mean, check out that fitment. That is completely tucked. And inside we've got a pretty lady as a gear stick. So these are some of the UK's best modified JDM cars. There is one of our favorite white chasers. Obviously a car that everyone loves and the pink S15 Geo by Luke. We've got Subaru Evo with their carbon bonnets, another S15 pretty low to the ground. We've got another R32 wide body pretty low to the ground. We've got the hydraulic suspension in the back of this Civic. We've got the Bayside Blue R34 creating a nice shadow on the ground. Further around we've got even more cars that you may recognise from some of the UK's events including this S14. We've got lots of yellow, a lot of yellow cars on the scene. Maybe one day I should wrap my 350Z yellow like the Panda Med GT. We've got this static Zenki S4 team. We've got the uh, Mark IIs over there as well. But whilst I do have a 1000 brake Supra behind me, in front of me, there's an R34 GTR revving. I'm in a pen. I can't get out. This car. Oh, I can't fit through that gap. I feel like an animal in a cage. I can't get out to film the content. But let me know which of the cars that you've seen today is your favourite and which car you want to see at Adam Seafest on the 3rd of June. There are still some revolutions going on. By the time I get there, they're going to stop, aren't they? <laughs> it was an R33 GCR, not an R34 GCR. My ears aren't working today either, it seems. So whilst the R33 still pops flames in the background, we've got even more cars to look at and try and talk about. Let's see the best we can do. We've got the wide body Evo 10. We've even got a Honda powered Mark II Escort on display. We've got a nice blue S13. There's an RX-7 somewhere behind it. There it is. Evo Supra S14s as well. And an R35 GCR with some subtle wide arches. This couple of loving life. And probably my favourite 350Z of the show so far. But we've now rather conveniently ended up in a more me section. We have 350Zs everywhere, including this red example on air. Let me know what you think about that. It's very low to the ground, that one. There's a lot of 350s and 370s here. A lot of Rocky Bunny kits, a lot of wide body everything. There's a lot of chassis mounted spoilers, MX-5s, tons of skylines. And we're nearing the, well, we're nearing the end for me because my voice is about to die. It's like it's about to run out of battery. And um, I can't really pay attention to every single car because there are thousands, as I'm sure you can see. Oh, I missed the content. Oh, look, with the Mr. Two's engine cover up, you can see the fans blowing in the wind. Oh, no. What? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> the fans weren't even blowing in the wind. They were earlier. Oh, the R32. Oh, dear. That means cars are leaving. And in a similar way to the red 350Z on air that we saw just a minute ago, we now have a red Mark IV Supra also on air. That is the lowest Supra that I've seen. That is unbelievable. But it does appear that the rest of this section is a bit of a Honda section and cars really are leaving. So I may have to head to the exit myself and try and film some videos. Um, we're only halfway through the day for me. 
but I think I'll film the majority of the cars in this show. And check out the chrome wheels on the EP3, very green as well. But people have been gathering to the slip road as cars have been leaving, and my voice is about to go completely. I'm trying to shout, that's me shouting. So I think I'm gonna end the video now. One like is one prayer for my voice, so like this video if you enjoyed it, and go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights of where I am. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but for now, thanks for watching.